niggas a genius. Welcome back. It's your boy Benny Black, BlackTagMedia.com. Um, this time we're gonna do a review slash tutorial slash walkthrough of a program that I feel is awesome, which is called Serif Fund Manager X3. Now you might say, why would I need this program? Well, I'm gonna tell you. Um, the specific reason why you need this program is because there are certain people that may be novices uh, when working in, with fonts and they decide to just take thousands and thousands of fonts that they may or may not use but they just want to have a whole bunch of them and they'll throw them into their my fonts folder on their hard drive of their operating system that is such a big no-no because what you're doing is you're going to slow down your computer because it's trying to always reread those fonts and your Photoshop or your Illustrator is just going to be so weighed down that you'll never be able to get a project fully finished you know within a great amount of time that you usually would before you had put all those fonts in so you can go to software.com um, and put it and just type in Serif Fund Manager X3 uh, right here it's like $43 which isn't bad for what this program does to help maintain your um, fonts okay so I'm gonna open the program up so okay so with this program Font Manager X3 this program allows you to not only just externally bring your fonts in but it, I mean, it allows you to, um, you know, do word lists, do uh, different tabs and groups, and I mean, it just it's just one of those programs that will never fail you when you're working with so many fonts, and you know, you get tired of scrolling up and down in the small drop box in your program, and trying to look through thousands of fonts that's in your my fonts folder, and it just gets tiring. You know, even though Adobe Photoshop um, or Adobe period, you know, for all of their programs put into where you can see a small visual of what the font will look like next to the actual name of the actually typeface font file. This right here, uh, this program right here, um, perfect example, re uh, resources drive. This is what I have right here just for my fonts because it's a lot of fonts that I do have. So what happens is is a perfect example I'm gonna go right into um, 1500 plus fonts right here okay so as you can see you can see that I uh, you can view the fonts in this top spread uh, folder and I'm just gonna you know quickly zoom through a couple and to pick one set, acting as if I'm working on a project right now so to, okay I got this Benny Blanco font so it allows you in the bottom one for the characters table to view everything inside of that file for the uh, true typeface font uh, which is which is very convenient because now you can see everything big you can make them bigger you can make them smaller to see more and even if you keep them small if you take your mouse and left click it'll create a, a uh, magnifying crosshair and you just drag across the fonts so you can actually see them bigger and I'm actually going to do that with another uh, font so you can actually get a better idea of how easy it is to go through here through your fonts um, with this feature to really help you know cut down on time that you may have used to look through to find fonts in your uh, Dropbox through any Adobe product so here we go Clarissa Contour so same thing left click down and as you can see it's allowing me to view 
the fonts. I mean, this is this is ridiculously nice, and and it just saves you time on all your projects to be able to see it. So now you're probably saying, okay, so now that I found the font that I want to use, how do I upload it? Very easy. So of course we're on this one, um, Clarissa Contour. There are three buttons up here, or or three lights up here. The one that's gray is actually red for uninstalling or deactivating right now. The yellow one is to activate temporarily. So therefore, whenever you close the program, it automatically cuts itself off. Or if you um, turn off your computer. The program closes it automatically turns it off no problem and if you hit the green button it installs it so therefore it is actually installed into your my funds folder but the cool thing about it is at any point in time you don't want to have that fun in there anymore you just click the red one for uninstall so when it's red it allows you to uninstall it or deactivate it you know ASAP no uh, waiting around no having to try to find it um as you see I'm about to go into um some other ones that I have. Okay, we're going to a folder where I got some fonts from defont.com. Um we'll scroll down and here we go. We got one called Apple Juice, perfect one. Now see this is a perfect example of a font that is limited and it saves you time from having to go through that font especially if you're looking for certain characters and symbols that you would want to use but you can't why because it's not a fully created um, font um, type see as you can see so many are missing a lot of missing we're talking about numbers letters and characters See so no U, no V, and this might be a sample to, uh, um, font too, but neither there are some fonts where the people who created them just either didn't have the time or, you know, was just creating specific letterings for you know a company, and these are the knockoff fonts. So now what you've done is by putting Apple Juice inside of your font manager and being able to view the whole um, set of fonts by itself now you see okay I don't even want to use this one keep scrolling okay let's see you know a knockoff gorillas one see a lot of missing and as you can see it's blank as I scroll but then you can see these ones um, popping up which is still a good font you know you can use that at any point in time let's see so so this just saves your your computer from the harsh headache of having all those fonts in there and slowing it down um, I, cause I have uh, I know I have thousands and thousands of fonts that I have you know just looked online and found a couple that I liked and just found you know packs of fonts from sites that people you know downloaded um, like this this font this is basically splatters you know, pretty cool font a bunch of different splatters that could come in handy for you know a title for a mixtape cover or um, a flyer, you know, and just use it as a as a uh, grunge brush at some point, you know, shapes, things of that nature. Um, I mean, perfect program. I give it, you know, five stars. You know, um, in my own personal rating. You know, I don't I don't know if everybody would like this one. You know, it's not for everybody, but in in my case, for what I do and how fast I like to work, this is a perfect program for what you're trying to do so definitely definitely give it a look they have a they have a uh, a trial version where you can try it out for a little bit and then of course you have to pay for it um, but once again it's, it's worth the money in my opinion so there you go this is your boy Benny Black you can get at me on uh, blacktagmedia.com or you can twitter me at it's Benny Black Hit me on Facebook. It's Benny Black, Black Tech Media. Um, if you have any questions or have any tutorials or reviews you want me to do, just hit the inbox and I'll gladly do them.